Studio Rack is back. Free. Free. Download. Friday. Trap Tendo. What is going on, guys? I know you are excited that this thing is back, and that is Studio Rack bars on purpose. Free plugin by Waves. Uh, the link will be in the description box. There's a lot to be said here because the old Studio Rack wasn't working with the Renaissance bundle that was rehashed. And I know a lot of people were very upset. I read the comments. Speaking of comments, leave a comment below. Tell me how you feel about the new Studio Rack because there are a lot of new features, a lot of stuff that were added. I don't know why, but hey, it's here. I'm glad. Let's go ahead and check it out. So once you click on the link, the website will look like this right here. It'll take you to Waves website and then you can get it for free just by clicking on a link. Just make sure that you have an account or whatnot with Waves so you can get it and then have Waves Central installed and you should be fine there. So you also have informative videos on Studio Rack just in case I missed something in this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to this project because I wanna go ahead and play because people have been asking me, how's it sound now? I've been working on it. Stressed out here. Uh, I do apologize there. I kind of get lost when I do these mixes and stuff like that. But the song is called Manifest, by the way, and it's produced by Detroit Knicks. I didn't produce it, but man, is this beat hard than a mug. And it's written by Cleanse, which is a long friend of mine of two decades. Both of those guys are very talented people. Uh, Studio Rec has a whole bunch of new features. As you can see, new UI, and it can be quite complicated to understand, but very easy. And one of the things I wanna show you now is that you can map micros. So you can map micros freely uh, over here, and you can rename micros. So uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to three, and I'm gonna show you, since everything that's in my rack right now is from an existing rack that I had a while ago because it's my type of workflow, uh, I'm able to access my Waze tune real time if I was using that and I can map a micro there. I can map a micro from my Rvox and you know, if I wanna choose to do gain, compression, perhaps I wanna do compression since compression is right there and I don't wanna navigate through it, I can adjust it here. Stressed out here. So let's go to a, I'm gonna go to a further part in the song here. I just wanted to show that off here. So the ability to add micros is a really good thing to have because now you're able to do uh, many different processes without having to deep dive into the actual presets themselves. Speaking of the presets, now you can see you have full uh, modular capabilities with them. They are not attached to Studio Rack now and you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can appreciate that because a lot of people uh, talked about that in the forums over there at Wave. So, you know, I was one of the things that I wanted out of it. Uh, the other thing too, as well, you have a pretty clear input of what you can do as far as your visual stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to, again, a further part of the song so I can demonstrate that. Just, I'm just as you can see you can uh, see what is clipping what is not you can see the game reduction uh, you can also see the peak meter and pretty clear uh, it's not vectoral though i know a lot of people are going to complain about that but hey free plugin it is what it is i guess maybe i don't know but i wish i could get this feeling feeling like i'm robin hood stealing turning into knowledge flipping turning turning into wisdom 
Yeah, but the artist request, he wanted more of a distorted uh, vocal. And I was like, okay, well, I guess he wanted kind of that Kanye vibe with the vocal or whatnot. And, and kind of the thing that you had to deal with as an engineer is, you know, you don't uh, want to override the artist's vision. You want to come to some type of mediation. Uh, and that's one of the things that he wanted me to do. So, you know, I kind of helped facilitated that. Uh, also, if you're curious about, you know, the preset that I used, it is actually uh, the original preset that I had made. And then, of course, I got my uh, chain from Lou Diaz as well. Shout out to Lou Diaz. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that I really like about this, again, uh, the modularness about it. <clears throat> uh, again, I, oof, I don't want I know people are going to play about that. But, uh, yeah, I, did, I just been enjoying it. But uh, more so on topic here. Uh, if you right click on this or if you click on this area, uh, you have a choice to parallel split. And I'm just going to show ahead, uh, go ahead and show you that. Uh, you can split this parallel and man, oh man, is it an amazing uh, what you can do here. That means that you can have certain things on one side, certain effects on one side, certain effects on the other side, uh, giving you more of an a broad mix. And that is something that I, I quite enjoy. And you can continue to do that process uh, into your heart's content. Uh, though I don't want to do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you another feature, which is undo. I'm going to continue to undo it until I get everything back. So now I have Arvox back. Uh, you also have multi-channel as well, uh, multi-band, my bad. And now you can do multi-band stuff. And that can come in handy for a couple of things, especially if you want to uh, add like a delay or some dynamics or, or EQ or anything like that. Of course, this is all dedicated to to wave stuff. I got a ish ton of waves plugins, of course. And, you know, I'm, I'm on their subscription plan right now because uh, I do a, a lot of mixing, but sometimes maybe I don't want all of those plugins or whatever. So uh, I'm on that subscription for a whole entire year. So uh, with that, I'm just going to show you again that you can undo what you did uh, just in case you don't want it. Again, you have all that's another uh, different view that you have here. And you also have uh, presets by some of my favorite guys over there uh, at Waves. You got Dave Darlington over here. You got Devin Townsend, uh, some really t dope dudes. Uh, <laughs> you got Yad here. Uh, you got Tony Maserati and so forth. And there actually are more presets coming uh, I think Lou, uh, some people are going to drop some stuff and I don't want to say anything about it, but yeah, overall it's pretty positive. Uh, if there is one negative that I have about this, I wish I could get this feeling, feeling like I'm Robin Hood stealing, turning into I like my original mix, but anyway, so, but if there is one thing I have to complain about, uh, older projects that have the older version of Studio Rack, it's a little iffy, like, and I, I expected that to happen. Uh, some load up and some don't load, but what I do is I just delete the ones that don't load uh, in my effects rack in my DAW, which is Ableton Live that I do my mixing in, uh, and delete it and then just replace it because I, again, I, I do a quick save of all of my racks and stuff like that if I have a vocal chain or whatever so to make sure that it makes sense uh, I guess and then just pull it up in there again and it, it just just adjust things accordingly now if you do download uh, my preset I just want to say yet again just like any engineer should tell you uh, that presets are not the end game like you should be able to understand each and every individual plugin uh, as they work and make adjustments uh, after the fact so that you can get the sound that you want it's just a you know having a vocal chain that's already set is just a really good thing to do so you know that's what it is so i just want to hear from you guys in the comment section and just let me know how you feel about it free download friday hey